Hello, this is Linda Tompkins at Crochet Australia. I often get the question, how do you crochet edges around hankies, towels, washers, or do the tops of towels? Well, I'm here today to take you through some of the tools that we have here available at Crochet Australia to help you do that, and to give you some tips about using those tools and creating lovely edged towels and hankies. So I want to start with hankies. Any hanky that you buy can be crocheted around. The hankies that you do buy have a lovely folded edge, but to create those holes and so they don't fray, you'll need to hem stitch the edge of those hankies. To do that, you'll need a sewing machine and a special footer called a hem stitch footer. You can buy these at sewing shops, but not every sewing shop sells them, so they might need to be ordered in. I've never tried it, I I've never seen it, and I probably will never actually try it. But here at Crochet Australia, we actually sell hankies already hem stitched. And what I mean by that is it's hankies with these holes already around the edges. They come in white, like this one here. They come in all different colors. They have the straight edge like this one, or they have a scalloped edge. And then the other option is they have these little embroidered motifs in the corner, or you can get them plain without that motif. If you're a beginner to that type of crocheting, I would recommend using a size 20 thread, but they can go up to a size 100 for a really fine edge lace hanky. And I see a lot of people doing these as special gifts, like for weddings or special birthdays. So we'll now move on to towels and washers. So with the towels, a number of different techniques. I have here a really long towel that I purchased, and I just decided to put a top on that towel. Now with the towels that you buy, they are already beautifully hemmed. So you can see this one, it's got a nice little hem around the side and at the bottom and the top, they usually have quite a thick hem. I don't cut them off. You can if you wanted to and then just zigzag along the top to stop it fraying and then you crochet into that or you can crochet over the hem. And that's what I have done on this one and what I much prefer doing as it, to me it creates a neater look and it's by doing a long a row of long double crochets. So you can see here just at the top I've done it in the same colour so it doesn't stand out too much and it just blends in nicely. And what it does is create this lovely row for you to then do your towel top or your edges. And the long double crochet is just a normal double crochet but you stretch the, the yarn and the thread out so it goes over the top of that hem. And when you are doing this you just need to be careful that it doesn't start to curl on you. And you can do that along the top for the long ones or even over the edges on these short ones. Another way with the towels that you can consider is if they have a double design, I say design at the top and another design at the bottom, so they've got the two designs, you can either cut the towel in half like we've done here and have little short towels or you can double the towels over and you create these, again crochet the, the tops to those towels. If you cut it in half, I would say zigzag along the top first, so again to stop it fraying, and then you work a row of double crochets along the top. You don't need to fold it over, you can if you wish, but you don't need to, but just allow a little bit of width um, to, to make a sort of a semi-long double crochet, I suppose you'd call it. So it's long enough so it doesn't have the edges that will fall off. And the same if you've doubled up your towel, the same thing, you allow just the double crochet about the same length but you're going through the two layers at the top of the towel. So how do you put the holes into the towels? Well there's a couple of tools we have here at Crochet Australia. The first one is what we call the edget tool. Now the edget tool comes with a complete set of instructions inside here of how to use it effectively and what it has inside it are two hooks. One which is really sharp, and that's the one to make the edges, but you, sorry, to make the holes. You can make the holes and then do your first row of double crochet at the same time. Then the second hook is a normal crochet hook that you then change to after you've completed your first row. So I'm going to demonstrate here how to do that in one of these towels. So I'll move the camera so that you can see what I'm doing right here. So this is your hook. And you can see here, if I can get close enough, it's a really sharp pointed hook, but it, otherwise it looks like a normal crochet hook in that you've got the neck, which will catch the yarn as it rolls through. 
So we start with our yarn. In this case, I'm just going to use a four ply yarn to crochet an edge around this particular towel. So we start with that pointed hook with our loop on the hook. I'm going to put the edge along here. I find where I want to go. In this case, I'm going to go under the hemline and just push your pointed hook through the towel. Get your yarn as if you're making a normal double crochet. Pull it up tight so it's nice and flat on the edge and then just finish off a double crochet. You find your next spot, push your hook through the other side. See how easy it glides through because it's lovely and pointed. You pull the hook up to create that long stitch. Go into our next spot that we want to create that. Pull the yarn up. Our long double crochet. So you can see it coming along nicely here. So we do that all the way along to create this lovely double crochet edging. And what that does is create our first start, you can see along here, that we can then crochet the edge of any design that we would like. Now, one of the questions here is, well, how do you make sure it's evenly spaced? You can see here I've just done four at random and they're not exactly evenly spaced. The best way to do this is to just get your sewing machine, first of all, and where you want your hem to go, just run a seam along there and you make the width of the stitch as long as you want the stitches apart. So if you wanted a half a centimetre gap between each stitch, that's how long you make your stitch on the sewing machine. If you wanted a quarter centimetre, you make it shorter and make a quarter and each end of each stitch represents where you would put your hook, or the very sharp hook, to do your first row of double crochets. Once you've done your first row of double crochet, you then switch to the other hook that's in the kit, the tool set, and you then do your second row of double crochets or your pattern as desired. It's not being so sharp, so therefore it won't catch on anything. You don't want to continue to use your sharp hook because it will catch on things. So another way of doing your edges on towels um, or washers, so that works effectively on washers as well, is to what, use what we call the crow edge blade. Now the crow edge blade fits onto a rotary cutter. So this is our rotary cutter here. It's just a 45 millimeter rotary cutter. It's the only size these blades come in. They come with a round blade. You take that blade off and you put your crow edge blade onto your rotary cutter. They come in two sizes. There's the, what's this one? This is the fleece and heavy fabric. This is the flannel and finer fabric. And I'm going to use this one for the towel that we're working on here. And this is what I would use for washers as well. To use this, have a cutting mat. You don't want to cut directly on your table because you will harm the table. You also need a cutting ruler. Both of these are available at sewing shops. You could use any ruler. I find this very useful because I also use it for material cutting, but because it's see-through, it enables you to get straight lines because you can line it up with particular patterns on your towel or with lines on the cutting board if you're able to see through your towel. For this one, we can't. But what we would do is line up your towel along the lines. I'm not going to put on the lines because I want to show you. In fact, I use this diagonal line here. We line it up. We get our ruler where we want it to run along. I want to put an edging right along the edge of my towel, just under the hem here. So I line it up so it's where I want it to be. I then take a really nice firm hold of that, grab my rotary cutter, make sure the blade is up, start at one end, push really hard, and then just roll it along the edge of your ruler to create your holes, except I did that the wrong way. You can hear it going through the mat there. And what you've now got, I'm going to take the normal crochet hook that we had before. And you can see here, you probably can't see them very well, but what we've now got is a row of holes directly along the edge of our towel. You can't see them very well on the camera there, but when you do hold it up, you're able to see them. And that's where I can now crochet the edges because my hook 
even slightly bigger hooks than this will be able to go through that hole quite easily to crochet the edges. This has the advantage of creating a nice straight edge and they're all going to be evenly spaced. The blade that goes with the fleece cutter, the bigger blade, the actual points are further apart so that and they're slightly deeper so that you can get a deeper cut and a stronger hold on the fleece fabric. So that's how we create some nice straight holes. We also then have lots of books on different edges that you can create. So we've got this 46 edges, we've got crochet edges, 111 edges, 50 thread edges and, and more than this. But what comes in common with these is that most of these patterns begin with a series of chains. You don't need to do a series of chains and then sew these lovely edges onto your hankies or towels. You can go directly into the towel by doing that row of double crochet I've just showed you instead of the chain that they say in the pattern. Just substitute that for the chains. And then you can go on to row two, exactly what's in the, or row one, exactly what's in the pattern. Now, a lot of the patterns have a specific number of stitches or a specific multiple of stitches that are needed to create that pattern. You may not always get that many stitches when you're doing your row of double crochet. You, you could try, but if you want them evenly spaced, sometimes it's difficult to get. So just do the number of double crochets you can get to make them evenly spaced along the edge and then do one more row of normal double crochet where you increase or and or decrease as necessary to get the number of stitches you need. Then you start your pattern. So I hope that's been helpful to you and it now enables you to understand how to use these tools to create beautiful edges and towel tops. If you've got any other suggestions or things you would like to have demonstrated, please let me know. Thank you.